guys welcome back to my channel and today I have a very flirty girly and kind of romantic makeup look for you guys which is suitable for Valentine's Day and that's coming up around the corner now so I thought I would get this video up for you guys so you guys can practice or just go ahead and follow this video on the day I've actually toned this down with not wearing any false lashes and I've just got mascara on right now but you guys can totally wear false lashes if you want to. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's just get straight into it. So firstly, yeah, I'm going to prime my face with the Smashbox Primer Water and squirt this all over my face and let it dry. But it's very watery, so just wipe the excess off. Then I took my Too Faced Born This Way foundation and pumped half a pump and mixed it with my Bourjois Healthy Mix. Um, just because the shade isn't quite right for me. So I mixed them together and then I blended it out using my beauty blender. And I did this to my whole face before going in with my concealer, which is the Misha Eye Brightener Concealer. And this one is like a yellow undertone, so it's really good for dark circles and it's highly pigmented as well. So blending that out with my beauty blender as well. And for my powder, I'm using my Makeup Forever HD Loose Powder. And I'm just going to roll it over the concealed areas so it makes sure that the powder sticks to these areas and just sets it. For my brows I'm using my usual sleek brow kit and I'm going to take the powder side first and fill in my brows lightly before going in with the Rimmel Professional Eyebrow Pencil in I think it's just brown. And I'm just going to fill in the rest of my brows with this and it gives it a more softer and defined look because it's quite a light shade as well. And after I filled it, I'm just going to blend it out with a clean spoolie. Next, for my eyes, I'm going to prime them using Urban Decay's Primer Potion. And using the Maybelline Nudes palette, I'm going to take the light nudish colour and apply this all over my eyes as a base. Then take the medium brown into my crease and into the socket area and kind of blend that really well as a transition colour. Next I'm taking my sleek all natural palette and taking the purpley plum shade and I'm going to focus this on to the outer V and also the inner corners of my eyes and it gives it a nice gradient effect and makes my eyes look a lot warmer and kind of romantic because it's a purpley shade. Then I'm going to take the dark brown and apply this into the outer V only just to darken it a bit and add a bit more depth to my eyes. I'm going to take this rose gold colour from my Urban Decay palette and I'm going to pat this into the centre of my eyes where we didn't put any um, eyeshadow. I'm going to highlight with a white eyeshadow on my brow bones and for my inner corners I'm going to take another rose gold from my sleek palette. This one's extra shimmery so I'm going to apply this into my tear ducts area just to brighten my eyes a lot. For the lower lash line I'm going to take that same purple shade and apply it onto the bottom of my eye uh, about halfway in just to balance the upper and lower parts of my eye. Then I'm going to tight line my eye using the Maybelline Black Gel Liner and I'm going to tight line my upper and lower waterline before creating my winged eyeliner using the Master Ink by Maybelline. And I'm just going to do this quite slow because I haven't used these types of eyeliners in quite a while. And I'm just going to do a simple flick. You can do whatever eyeliner you want to do. I just prefer my eyes to have a cat eye kind of eyeliner flick to it and then for bronzing I'm going to use my Rimmel bronzing powder and I'm actually going to go up and down as you can see here along my sides of my face to slim it down so it kind of cuts that section of my face off and then I'm going to apply it onto my jawline as well as my forehead and then I'm going to take a smaller brush and using the same powder I'm going to contour my nose so I'm going to start at the front of my eyebrows and then brush it down my nose to create a kind of high nose bridge effect and then blend it out softly and I'm going to take my under my lips and then on my cupid's bow as well and I'm going to darken the contour on my face using a contour brush and some of the bronzing powder. 
Next, curling my eyelashes and apply my favourite mascara, which is the Falsies by Maybelline in the waterproof formula. And I'll put this on my upper and lower lashes. You can put false lashes on if you want to, but I prefer not to. Next blush, I'm going to use the lighter shade from this Rimmel Trio blush and apply it onto my apples on my cheeks before going in with Merry Luminizer by The Balm as a highlighter on my cheekbones and on my nose, my cupid's bow and also my chin. Finally for my lips I'm going to use the transparent lip liner by Rimmel and I'm just going to quickly line this because there's no colour so you don't have to be very accurate. Then I'm going to take the Kate Moss Lasting Lipstick in 08 which is kind of like a nude mauve colour even though it's a lot brighter on camera. And then I'm going to use the same rose gold and put it on the centres of my lip to make my lips look fuller. And this is the final look guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below if you haven't already. You can find me on Instagram, it's at djwong underscore so you can search for me on there. And also check out my blog post as I've done a few new posts on there just on some product reviews. So I'll put my blog link below in the description box as well so you guys can check that out and I hope you guys have a great weekend, have a fabulous Valentine's Day with your loved ones or with just your family and friends. And so I'll speak to you guys in my next video and thank you for watching. Bye!